Dear students, we have already discussed about polynomials. Let's recall those. The general form of a quadratic polynomial is ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to 0. Since the degree of x is 2, so it's called as quadratic polynomial. Could you tell me what a quadratic equation is? We all know that equations have two sides, one on the left hand side of the equal sign and the other on the right hand side. When we equate the general form of a quadratic polynomial to zero, we get the standard form of quadratic equation, where a, b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. For example, 2x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0 and x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 are quadratic equations. If we compare these with the standard form of the quadratic equation, we will get for the first equation a equal to 2, b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 6. And for the second equation a equal to 1, b equal to 5 and c equal to 6. Zeros of a polynomial and roots of a quadratic equation. You must know that zeros of a polynomial is nothing but the real values of the variable for which the value of the polynomial becomes zero. And root of a quadratic equation is the values of the variable for which the value of the quadratic equation becomes zero. Remember that the zeros of a quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c and roots of a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 are the same. Let's visualize factorization of a quadratic polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 6. So what is x square? If we visualize it, it is nothing but a square with sides of measurement x. Now for the second term 5x, we can consider a rectangular barrier x into 1. Here, we have 5x, that means we can place 5 similar rectangles over the square. We can rearrange the rectangles in such a manner so that we can create a square or a rectangle to express the polynomial in product of two terms. That is, we are going to factorize the polynomial. Now for the third term 6, we can consider 6 unit squares. That means one square having a side of one unit. Now we will place the six squares to complete the rectangle. Now we get a rectangle having length x plus 3 and breadth x plus 2. So we have visually factorized the polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 6. If we equate this with 0 then we will get x plus 2 into x plus 3 is equal to 0. Here either x plus 2 equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0, x equal to minus 2 or x equal to minus 3. So when we can make the rectangle 0, either by making length x plus 3 equal to 0 or by making breadth x plus 2 equal to 0. We can do that by squeezing the rectangle towards its length, then the rectangle will disappear. Similarly, if we squeeze the rectangle towards its breadth, then also the rectangle will disappear. So we get roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 as minus 2 and minus 3, which is also the zeros of the polynomial x squared plus 5x plus 6. Students, hope you have got a fair idea about quadratic equation and visualized it as well.